Malaria is one of the big killer diseases of the world. Um, over 400,000 people, mostly children, young children and pregnant women, die each year of malaria. And there are over 200 million cases of malaria globally each year. It affects um, countries predominantly in Africa, but across the tropics, every country essentially is at risk of malaria, and indeed in Australia. Uh, thousands of Australians get malaria when they travel or work abroad and bring it home every year and get sick. The malaria parasite is very complex and it's very clever. Um, there are many different stages of the parasite and often vaccines will just target one of those stages. It's also able to change itself so that your immune system can't recognise it anymore. That's really been a challenge for people making vaccines. Well, the trial goes from um, having completed our work in animals to now doing exciting work in people, volunteers. So we've given the vaccine to a number of different volunteers um, to test, one, that it's safe, and two, that it does induce an immune response. And we've had very positive results. To move forward, we actually do need to um, secure funding to be able to um, complete the trial. Rotary has been uh, very helpful. In fact, we started some of this work many years ago in a, a preliminary study with funds from Rotary. Uh, that was published in really quite a prestigious journal. And, but that, that study, which was completed several years ago, gave us the, the ideas where we, where we are now uh, to, to, move, to move ahead. So Rotary has been incredibly supportive. Uh, we actually need about half a million dollars. Sounds like a lot of money, but every little bit counts and everybody can be part of making this vaccine happen. The ultimate goal uh, in developing a vaccine, of course, is to save the lives of the 400,000 plus children and young pregnant mothers who die of malaria every year. Uh, vaccines are regarded as the most cost-effective way, cost way to improve public health. There isn't one for malaria, but we're very hopeful that our vaccine studies will lead to one.